Frida Kahlo is one of Mexico's best-known artists. She was the subject of the 2002 movie Frida, starring Selma Hayek. The 240 photos in the Arlington exhibit were chosen from more than 6,000, discovered recently in the home Kahlo shared with her husband, Diego Rivera. Only four are known to have been taken by the artist herself, including one of her dog and a portrait of her nephew. She actually wrote on the back photo, Frida Kahlo. Cynthia Connolly is Artisphere's visual arts curator. She is taken with this image by Frida, called Mexican Toys. It's almost a, a horse-drawn cart where the horse is sort of topsy-turvy and the person's on the ground, which makes me wonder if she's sort of depicting her own accident in some, in some uh, Mexican toys. Frida's accident, dramatized in the movie Frida, caused severe injuries to her spine. In the exhibit, several images show her in a hospital. So you can tell that she had pain most of her life after that accident, and she was continually having surgeries to try to relieve herself of that pain. Other photos show family and friends, including photographer Nicholas Murray. But what you see in his studio is very interesting because with the magnifying glass, you can actually see there's a portrait of Frida Kahlo on the wall. There are also self-portraits of her father, who was a professional photographer. There's about 20 self-portraits of her father, uh, very formal photographs. It leads us to believe that possibly her father was a, a great influence on her art and the way she did her portraiture. Frida collected photographs by other artists, such as Man Ray. When you look through this exhibit, you sort of, I wonder what she saved, why she saved it, was she planning to use it for a painting? We may never know. Susan Logue, VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.